he does like me for real, like I would never do that to you. Like I would never. You know what I'm saying? Like it was literally giving Cassie a man. Put the money on it. Oh my God, I'm back again to tell my business. Ain't nothing new, ain't nothing new. Did I wear this love in the last video? Can y'all tell me? Anyways, welcome back to my channel today. I am back with another story time. I told you guys you were getting Sunday uploads. My lips is dry, what is new? When you see this, you get in a tell Ricky on Wednesday. Be excited for it, I already pre-recorded that. So, no I didn't, I'm lying. I didn't pre-record it, but I'ma pre I'm record it though. I'ma record it. Today I will be filming a story time for you guys while showing y'all an in-depth wig tutorial because a lot of you guys have been asking me how I do my wig, so I will be doing that for y'all. Stop fucking fooling. This video is sponsored today by One More Hair. This is a 30 inch wig. This is the wig. Okay, period. Period. It is a 32 inch body wave, but I did go in and straighten it just a little bit after I washed it and everything. Um, I did the personalized red sub scrunch. Sub uh, what the fuck? The personalized skunk stripe on the side, on both sides, the hair took well. Like the bleach was literally sitting on there for like five minutes and then it was already turning. So that is amazing. Um, so I will be getting into that while telling y'all the story time. So let's take off this bonnet. Woo! Look at the bitch braids. <laughs> <laughs> Know why I braided my hair like this today? Like I braided my hair like a caucus woman. So I just want to make a disclaimer before telling the story time because the people who are involved in the story time, I'm friends with them to this day, and like they are like my best bitches. Like known them for however long. This story time, I'm gonna tell y'all. Usually I don't really tell y'all what like grade and shit this took place because um it's so relevant. But this literally took place in sixth grade. Like I was young as fuck. Hi, starting off the video, you know, early and shit, popping in. But I realized I don't, I ain't even tell y'all for hella long what the story's about to be about. The story's about to be about a prank going wrong, and then I ended up being a Cassie. The Cassie from Euphoria, the Cassie from last night's episode, that was me. <gasps> I know, shocker, 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 but I'm here to show you guys that I'm just a horrible person sometimes. Anyway, bye. So I just want to make a disclaimer that I did ask permission from the people involved in the story time if I could tell the story time. So I'm going to tell y'all this story because it's literally hilarious and like me and my friends laugh about it to this day because it was definitely given petty. So I just want to make that a disclaimer. Please do not send hate to anybody in these comments. You know what I'm saying? Again, we were in sixth grade. Young as fuck and dumb as fuck. This is the type of story where it could take place in sixth grade and not even be hella deep. Like, you know what I mean? If this would have happened a year ago, I would be like, hey, I'm going to lay the ball cap and everything. And then I'm going to install the wig because I don't think y'all care about the ball cap. Pull it over my eyes. I cut it. Let me do this really quickly. It's the Ebon Tinted Lisp, uh Spray and it's in light warm brown. The light warm brown is too light for me. But um, I don't have any more medium brown, so I'm going to honestly just rock out with this today. I only have like a little bit left in the medium brown one. So with the medium brown one, I'm just going to spray on the lace and save that for the lace. And then for my wig cap, I'm just going to do the um, light warm brown one. Everybody loves the, the um, Wonder Lace Bond, but I dead prefer the Ghost Bond one. Y'all know what the fuck I meant compared to the other one because for some reason every time I do the ghost bond one um every time I like do the my glue it lifts up so I just spray around my hairline and I do about like three sprays with this and then that's it okay now that the wig cap is dry I'm going to just cut it now and I'm gonna just shape it of the same length of my forehead so if y'all are not new here y'all would know that I posted a story time about how I used to catfish people all the time on the internet and like me and my friend used to play prank so we're gonna name my friend this situation what did I, did I ever tell y'all the story time i don't even think i told y'all the topic so i'll be telling you guys the story time about how a prank ended in a fucking rivalry with me and my friend about a boy so me and this friend let's name this friend um so we're gonna name my friend chocolate three times in the last three minutes god damn bitch you got so much to say okay so i just want to say this so that nobody's getting confused i asked my friend for permission she said yes and then she's like it doesn't have to be anonymous no one cares but i don't like telling names so i gave her chocolate as a nickname but my brain kept slipping up and i kept calling her t because that's the first name of her initial so if you hear me called tea chocolate chocolate is tea don't get that confused okay it makes sense if she watches this she'll know why i don't really want to say her name even though i don't think she cares me and chocolate 
literally were like fucking two peas in a pod. I don't know what our problem was, but we took pleasure in terrorizing our entire elementary school class. So one day we were in like school and it was lunchtime. So I'm like, okay, like, you know, whatever. Time to go to lunch. Same old people, same class. Like the way our elementary school was set up, you were in the class with the same people all day. Me and Chocolate were not in the same class at this time, but we were still like really good friends. Like we used to always be on like Uvu and we used to just literally like constantly just terrorize people, prank people, all of that jazz. One day we were at like a, the basketball court of our school. So we seen the same people every single day, y'all. It was nothing new like nothing out of the ordinary the same boys the same girls da, 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 da. and like sixth grade is like where you realize when you start having crushes and shit i mean i started young i've been a thought i've been a thought i never said i wasn't a thought i've been a thought like I've always had a crush on somebody, son. All I'm gonna do is just clean my forehead after cutting the wig cap off. I also went ahead and sprayed the tint on my lace. I think I'm gonna leave it on this lighting for now. One day at lunch, I had seen this boy. Now, I've never seen this boy before, so I was like, who the fuck is that? And why he ain't in my drawers yet? So when I had seen him, everybody was like, oh my God, no way, no way. Like, OMG, like that can't be who we think it is. And I'm like, who is it? You know what I'm saying? Who is it? Cause I came to the school in second grade and they were there since like kindergarten. I was like, who is it? Cause I don't know who that is. And everybody was like, his name is, let's name him. We gonna name him K. I'm sorry. We just gonna have to name him K. Cause I don't feel like, I don't feel like thinking about a name for that long. And everybody was like, oh, that's K. The boys at that school at the time, they were cute. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I had a cute sixth grade class, but I don't know. I seen him and I was like, he's so cute. So what I had said that they was like, oh my God, that's K. No way, no way. And I'm like, who is K? Because the way they was acting y'all, it was like, they seen a fucking ghost. He walked in the courtyard at lunch. I don't know who the fuck brings their son to school after lunch but you know I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna say nothing everybody was like oh my god oh my god no way I remember him and I'm like who is it and they're like his name is Kay and he used to go here and he was so bad that they expelled him and I guess he had came back you gotta be bad as shit for real which he is for you to get expelled in the second grade like you really have to be bad as shit at the time I was living in New York by the way I'm gonna just make this clear y'all the glue that I'm using is this bold hold active it's the only glue that I have to be honest because the other one dried up. So when I was asking who he was and stuff, they were like, oh yeah, his name is Kay and he literally used to go here. Like, I remember him and he was bad as fuck and like, he terrorized everyone. Like, he had no mercy on anyone. He terrorized everyone. And I'm like, really? And they're like, yes. And that's the problem because I don't know why automatically when I seen him, I was like, he's so cute. After they told me like, he literally used to like, fight people and do all this shit and like, carry on. I've always been into delinquents and that right there is a motherfucking problem. So after they told me who he was or whatever, I was like, okay, I want him. I want him. I want to talk to him. But at the time, I was talking to like a lot of the boys in the school and it was very much giving flirting and innocent boys flirting with a girl type of situation. I guess Chocolate had never had a boyfriend, which Chocolate was still pretty like and all that, but she just never had a boyfriend. Like she was very innocent and she really definitely just used to just be chilling and minding her motherfucking business. So they were like, oh, Chocolate never had a boyfriend before and y'all would look cute together. So as we're sitting in the basketball court, I'm like, nah, bitch, I'm finna run down because he's fine as fuck he wasn't in all that in the bag of like there was cute boys in the school but i'm sorry y'all like he was just so cute to me so i'm like all right period i'm gonna run down and they were like no you should let chocolate run down because um chocolate never had a boyfriend before again we're in sixth grade it's normal for the bitches to not have boyfriends but here we go being fast and that's the problem right here this they were like, you should let Chocolate run down, like, period. And literally, like, we basically ruined Chocolate's life with this whole entire situation. Like, the way this man had her in a chokehold. cold. So, um, I was like, oh, fine, like, run down Chocolate. So, I'm supporting her. I'm like, period, Chocolate, like, you better go run down on him. Like, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm advocating for this girl running down on her. Which, if I liked him, I feel like I could have... I was young as shit, though, so, like, don't be mad at me. I should have communicated my feelings better. If I really did like him like that, I should have just been like, nah, bitch, I want him. So, I'm finna run down on him. But they were like, Chocolate ain't never had a from before how about we just let chocolate get this one right so i was like period after like that first day like we became friends with him or whatever and chocolate and him started dating i don't know how they started dating i don't know where they started dating when they started dating literally y'all they just started dating it's not important that's none of my business it's none of y'all business again me and chocolate was like best friends and her and Kay's relationship was literally top tier toxic in sixth grade top tier top i'm talking about break up every motherfucking day and me being um chocolate's best friend you know i have to hear about it 
And everybody in the group got to hear about it. And it was just very, 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 very annoying. At some point, I was just like, I'm sorry, but I cannot support this relationship with y'all. Like, the way y'all are so toxic and ignorant for no reason. And y'all are literally a couple months in. So, after, like, that, like, I remember we had had, like, this whole big argument. Like, big-ass argument to the point where, like, Chocolate tried to cut me off because I didn't support her relationship with Kay. And blah, 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 blah. So, like, I had to uh, eventually just support the relationship with Kay. Because I'd rather deal and listen to all the toxic, toxic, toxic rather than lose my best bitch you know what i'm saying so one day we all used to walk home because we literally all lived in the same fucking bumblefuck ass neighborhood but i tell y'all we literally all lived in the neighborhood think of a square i had a corner chocolate had a corner fucking Paige had a corner Sade had a i mean she was then there's mark you know she was all the way across town but everybody else had their own quarter in the like, neighborhood. So me, Kay, Chocolate always used to walk home together and just hang out at the park. Like literally we used to always hang out and just chill at the fucking park. One day we're walking home and I should have known men ain't shit. One day we're walking home and I don't know if Chocolate was with us. Like I don't, for some reason I'm having a feeling that Chocolate was not there because I can't remember specifically because this shit happened like eight fucking years ago. We was walking home and like literally for some reason like Kay was being so flirty with me out of nowhere. Like it was so out of nowhere but I was hella young so I didn't really take it as flirted until after the situation happened but now that i go back and analyze like bitch he was definitely flirting with me like i remember he had said something to me don't remember what and i have felt like butterflies in my stomach i'm like what is this feeling like i feel like i'm gonna throw up like i said me and literally used to prank people for a fucking living so let's get into what me and used to do which is how all of this shit started so we used to prank people on kick by just using like fake people's profiles and shit like we literally used to use this man all the time you know i seen him on my for you page the other day and i was like i used to catfish your pictures with you and he was just like really and i was like yeah so we used to like catfish people and like we used to prank people and one of the pranks that we always used to pull was like boy pranks like we'll like hit up one of our friends and be like oh you so cute using his picture be like you so cute you so fine like i want you blah 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 like type thing like flirt with them through kit and we never really did it on each other because bitch we always could collide when someone was pranking us because we was the best bitches at pranking like you can't prank the prankster one day we was like talking or whatever and k and chocolate at this point when i tell y'all they literally beefing every day every fucking day there was another boy in our school and we're gonna name him n so i had fell asleep on uvu and i remember i used to snore like really loud on the uvu call so like they used to always hang up on me because they used to be pissed k and chocolate was still up and i guess these bitches crafted a plan bitch. a plan that i was not aware of while i was asleep so one day i get home from school right and i'm literally just doing my texting thing texting my friends i got a message from chocolate if i fuck up and say t in this story t is chocolate i just wanted to use a different name for t but let me make that a disclaimer because i feel like i'm gonna fuck up and say her name i get a message from chocolate and chocolate is like oh i have to talk to you so i'm like oh about what you know what i'm saying i thought it was about to just be some bullshit probably sixth grade drama you know what i mean i put my wigs on in three parts so i cut them like this and then i do them piece by piece i don't lay all my wig down at one time because i've found that it's hard to do that way y'all i may have to switch her name throughout the story and i just i just want to make it clear i cannot call this bitch chocolate like i don't know why it's just it's tongue twisting like a motherfucker in my brain and i'm getting so confused and i don't want y'all to be confused so we're gonna do a name change chocolate is t t is chocolate t is dating k i just want to make that very 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 clear in the story because now it's like my tongue is twisting y'all probably getting confused so one day t hits me up my best friend and she's like yo i have to talk to you so i'm like oh i wonder what it's about what happened like you know what i'm saying she basically called me in distress and she was like how her and k had broke up again and this time she was really done with him and i was like what happened and she basically was just like oh um um, I like this boy named N, which he N lived in my building. He literally lived like two floors fucking up from me. So we lived in the same goddamn building. She was just like, oh, I like N. And K had told me he liked you. So we broke up. So it's fine. You should date him. Because I know you had a crush on him. So bitch, just date him because he likes you. And I was just like, um, no. Like, what the fuck? Like, you're my best friend. And I was like, All right, is this a prank? Like, I feel like they was pranking me. Because like, again, we always used to prank each other. So I'm like, is this a prank? And she's like, no, it's not a prank. And I'm just like, um, what the fuck? Like, I was just like what is happening right now like that was so fucking random like y'all she literally just hit me with the have my man Take like who fucking does that so when she said that i was like i feel like you're pranking me and she's like i'm not pranking you like this is serious you should really just talk to him but the reason why i was like being convinced that it wasn't a prank is because she kept saying i like n which is so weird because like i could never see them together now she kept saying i like n so just date k and i'm like what the fuck back then she like this was not serious we share boys all the time it's not even that deep i'm a real bitch been a real bitch since blah 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 the way friendships go through trial and error trial and error trial and error so y'all what i do is i pull it down you comb it and you just 
just melt it while pushing it in and combing it back that's how i do it that's how i like doing it so she's like have my man like literally no one cares like i don't give a fuck about him no more like he's not have him and i'm just like what the fuck that got to do with me just break up why do i have to talk to him y'all just break up y'all i don't have to date him for y'all to break up and she's like no because if we break up he's gonna be single and i don't hate him or anything i just want y'all to date because i know that y'all would like work out as a couple I'm like, how do you know that he likes me? She's like, because he told me. Which I think is the reason why they she claimed that they were breaking up. But I said, mm, I'm going to need to talk to you in person about it. I'll see you at school tomorrow. I'm not sure. It was a very overwhelming night. I didn't know what to do and I didn't know how to feel. I don't even think I ended up talking to Kay that night because it made me so uncomfortable that like all of a sudden he had a crush on me. Because then I understood that like when he was doing all that like flirting stuff, when we was walking home and stuff, that it was I was not crazy. And I never said anything to T. But I would never kiss that boy at the park. I would never do no shit like that. So I'm like, I don't even need to say to me because if I say something I feel like it's gonna bring in drama but I cannot lie I was really considering what she was saying because I'm like I did like him when I first met him maybe this is just a sign like she needs to date and and I need to date Kay and like we're gonna just switch I did not cut my ear tabs we have a problem Houston I was like you know what I'm gonna talk to all y'all bitches tomorrow because you know obviously the whole like friend group was involved I was just like okay like if he likes me that's his problem and we'll talk about it when I'm at school tomorrow bye home good night when I tell you, I was questioning myself. I was like, bitch, you so fake for even considering, like, this could possibly be real. Like, in the back of my brain, I felt like it was a prank. But, like, then I started believing it as she started saying, like, she had a crush on someone else. And, like, it's okay. Like, blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, anybody would be mad and be like, nah, bitch, you're not finna. Like, if she would have called me, be like, he wants to talk to you. And blah, 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 blah. But she was, like, advocating for it. Like, do it. I want you to do it. Have fun. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm my naive ass. I'm like, okay, he, she wants me to do it. Like, she wants what's best for me. That was not what was best for me because, bitch, if her relationship with him was toxic, I don't know why I thought my relationship with him wouldn't be toxic because, bitch, it was. So I never agreed to date him because they, like, wanted me to confirm it right then and there. And I was like, I'm not doing that. But I wasn't objecting it, meaning, like, fuck, no, I'm not doing that. Fuck, no, I'm not talking to him. I was just like, I don't know. I just feel like something about this is fishy. I don't know. I just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So the next day at school, me, KT, everybody, and everybody paid, Shade, everybody, not you, everybody was literally just minding their business. We was all just chilling. We was all just talking. And um, we was in the auditorium that morning. Like, we was chilling, breakfast, class, everything. Me and T was not in the same class so it was like okay whatever me t or k was not in the same class t and k was in the same class but i was not in the same class as them like i didn't hear about it all i heard was like so are you still considering talking to him and stuff like t was asking me like you still want to talk to him blah 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 and i'm like bitch i don't know 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 and y'all see what i do i just take it and i just lay it down all my friends point of view they're like um if you want to you should do it like it ain't even that deep and she's saying you should do it you should do it and i was just like oh should i give this man a chance because it's just like for me so i was like should i give this boy a chance like i don't know i don't know i don't know but after talking to like t and shit she was just like yeah bitch give him a chance it don't hurt till you try it and i'm like bitch but you tried it and bitch you was hurt so i don't know if i even want to go through all of that like i don't she can see though that like i was more so like seeing where she was coming from about it instead of just shutting her down like i was the night before so i don't know if this made her a little nervous right because that same day we were in the gym i don't know what for because i don't remember but i do remember we were in the gym so i'm with my friends and i'm talking to my other friends outside of like this group of friends that i'm telling y'all about i was with like my other friend she's irrelevant we were all just talking or whatever and i'm telling y'all a whole crowd of people like a whole fucking crowd of people it walked up to me including tt was in the group too like she was brought her friends k was there too they all came up to me and t had came up to me and she was like i have to tell you something i'm like what and i just knew what she was about to say like i I knew what she was about to say before she said it, but I wanted to hear her say it. Like, I had to hear this bitch say it. I had to hear it come from her mouth. Like, I had to. And she was like, come here, Kay. Come here, Kay. Come here, Kay. He's coming and he's like looking at her, whatever. And she's like, mind you, whole crowd behind her. A whole, like, y'all think I'm joking about this whole crowd behind her shit. No, a whole crowd is behind her. <laughs> this is so fucking petty and stupid. So she was like, so yesterday we were pranking you and he basically doesn't really have a crush on you for real we were all just joking i was just looking at her i'm thinking this shit is real like this bitch really want me to talk to her ex i don't know what i should do i don't know if i'm like dumb for entertaining this shit i was so when she did that bitch i was just like i gagged bitch i was like wait 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 you pranking the bitch who you used to prank with hey what kind of backstabbing shit is that bitch 
Like, I literally was like, well, I'll be damned. My mouth was on the fucking floor. She's like, yeah, he didn't really like you. I really couldn't even be mad for real because I used to prank people all the time. So it's like, when it's your turn to get pranked, bitch, don't be, don't be mad. Obviously, when you get pranked for the first time, you're going to be a little irritated because you was just pranked. Everybody reaction is to be angry at first. Like, <laughs> so I'm going to just take this and I'm going to tie my hair down everybody's walking around they're like oh she was pranked oh my god they pranked her like oh my god no not ricky who pranks everybody getting pranked and i'm just like all right what else what else y'all gotta say to me so she's like so yeah i just want you to know that it was a prank right k like you don't really like her let her know that you don't like her when i tell y'all this is exactly what k did he was like no i like her i fuck with her i like her i wasn't lying it was i wasn't i'm not gonna lie it wasn't a prank i did like her Everybody gagged. Like when I tell y'all, everybody was like, <laughs> like my friend. I remember her specifically being like, <laughs> and like literally running around the whole fucking gym. Everybody gagged, including T, including me, including everyone. So they were like, you want to date her? And he was like, yeah, I want to break up with you, T. Blah 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 blah. So then T, this bitch instantly started crying. Bitch, we instantly started crying. I grabbed her hand and I remember, I <laughs> literally so extra like, but I grabbed her hand and when I tell y'all, I like ran like holding her hand like him and Kanye that picture of them running bitch when I tell you we super zoomed out that gym because of how embarrassing it was that that just happened to us like I was in shock she was in shock we were both fucking in shock so I grab her hand and I'm like running out the gym with her and we go in the bathroom and like we slide down the wall he hella extra I was hugging her I'm like I would never do that to you like even if he does like me for real like I would never do that to you like I would never fake ass bitch but listen 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 hear me out hear me out so I was like I would never do that to you like ever I would never like I was hugging her she was like you can date him if you want to but oh my god and I'm just like no I would never do that I felt so sick to my stomach I remember like just being like bro like why does this shit always have to happen to me like I never could catch a break like never never so after that we all leave out the fucking bathroom because it's time to go back to class and everybody is quiet as fuck that day like I remember everybody was gagging everybody kept asking me what happened how I feel what I'm gonna do etc etc so I'm like bitch I don't fucking know what I'm do because i still feel like this is a prank cut all that extra lace off you know i feel like i was ruining something that i had no business ruining so i'm just like i don't know if i could do this like i don't think i can and everybody was just like bitch if he likes you and you like him you should do it still not right don't do that shit if y'all in sixth grade right now eighth grade eleventh grade it don't matter how young y'all get it's a new generation we could do shit like this and bounce back but nowadays bitch if you do shit like that bitch you might fuck around and end up on news 12 because these sixth graders nowadays dumb hoes carry so don't do what i do because bitch you see what i'm saying everything everything ricky has done is not the smartest and the most like right thing to do so i ain't even finna i ain't even finna sit here and be like we were young it was okay bitch because then y'all might take that ass let me do that too then Nah, don't do that shit so she was like you you can talk to him you can do what you want i don't really care whatever but i was like fuck no because imagine what he's gonna do to me but i don't know how bitch i don't know i don't even remember how we ended up talking y'all probably think i'm lying but i don't remember and i'm trying to tap through it like literally nobody can remember like when me and my friends are talking about it but honestly i don't even think when we started talking that i hit it from t like i think that it was just very obvious and we was just all talking and that's what the problem was so don't do what I do. It's my favorite clown. That was the first man to show me that men ain't shit. But me and Kay ended up, like, kind of, like, flirting a little bit, like, after that whole situation. T was trying to be supportive and be like, I did prank her, and yes, my prank did backfire on me. But, like, she still was the girlfriend at the end of the day. Like, you can try to be a supportive friend, but still be like, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was literally giving Cassie and Maddie. I don't know how the fuck we ended up in a whole ass relationship after the situation but we did and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna hide from my past i'm not gonna hide from my past bitch after a while i feel like he definitely was just like i don't want to see y'all together like this shit is weird and it was it was weird so one day me and just like start going at it like we was beefing i had went to georgia for like two weeks and we was going at it about him like when i tell you he used to just mess with the both of us and this is my this is my era when i became obsessed with janae Iko because this man had us in a motherfucking friend so like we're beefing like we're hard body beefing at this point bitch we wasn't talking we wasn't friends nothing about us was close we it was just over all over one stupid ass boy i came home from georgia because i was there for like two weeks and then during this two weeks we were actively arguing about this man because he used to literally just go between the both of us like when he was mad at her he used to come to me when he was mad at me go to her but what t didn't know was that i wasn't even talking to him no more 
I was talking to a whole nother boy because I feel like out of all the three girls, I'm not even going to lie. I think he liked me the least. You know what I mean? So I found me a new stinker link. But since all the problems that me and T had during the school year about him, it just went on into the summer. And while I was in Georgia, I was just arguing with her about like a whole bunch of other shit plus him, like plus K. But I wasn't even talking to K at this time. One day I came home and I literally like, it was like the same day I had came home. My mom left me stranded at fucking in Georgia for like a month and a half. I'm talking about some two weeks. It was like a month and a fucking half. She left me there. She told me I was staying there for two weeks, bitch. And then I didn't come home until like a whole decade later. So I'm home and then all I hear is like constant. Like it was just like ringing back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Like I'm talking like ringing off the fuck, like my doorbell, right? Because I live in an apartment. So I'm like, what the fuck? And from my apartment, the only way out is either through the basement, which they wouldn't go through if they didn't live there. Cause they wouldn't know that's the way you would hide from my window or through this door. And my window was on top of the door. So if I looked out, I could see anybody coming in and I could see anybody coming out. So as I'm looking down, all I see is literally T and her friends that I wasn't really like that close with. Like, yes, we went to the same school, but like at this point, we're about to be in seventh grade. Like we're not even in the same elementary school. We all went to different schools at this point. I seen T and all her friends and they literally saw, looked up and like they saw me just staring at them because I hadn't been home for like hella long. And I didn't think they expected me to either be home or expect me to be at the window because literally I was in the living room when the um thing was going off and i looked at her and all you see is them look up and just start running so i'm like oh fuck no so i put my hair in a butt i'm like oh i'm finna fight this bitch i'm finna fight this bitch why are you ringing my doorbell i don't even talk to k anymore because i didn't um i really didn't i wasn't even talking to him at that point i was talking to a whole nother boy but i understand why t was still mad about the situation because bitch what the fuck t i think was still dealing with him but i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not i don't really know i didn't ask i'm like now nah, i'm finna fight this my sister's like, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm finna go fight T. Like, I'm finna go fight her. Like, she's so fucking weird. Like, do not ring my doorbell off the charts. Like, and again, you know what I'm saying? It was a necessary for her to ring my, like, yes, I was wrong in the situation because it was her boyfriend first. But, bitch, don't ring my doorbell off the hook. Like, who do you think you are? My ghetto ass. Like, bitch, you're in sixth grade. Go go read a book. Like, we finna fight. Like, fuck no. Like, I literally put on, like, fighting clothes. And I ran down the stairs. And T is not a fighter. T does not fight. So I went downstairs. And I'm like, nah, I'm finna fight this bitch. I'm, like, walking downstairs a thousand miles per hour. I'm pissed. I'm like, yeah, I'm finna fuck this bitch up. Like, don't ring my doorbell like you're a freaking idiot. Like, are you crazy? Like, that's so disrespectful. But I'm lie. My sister's, like, right behind me. So I go to the park because I knew that's exactly where it was. And the park is literally across the street from my house. I go to the park and they're all standing there. And I'm like, so what is the problem? I want to fight you. I don't understand what the fuck you're so mad about. I don't even talk to him anymore. I don't even want him no more. He don't want me. Literally, I'm just blacking. And all her friends are just sitting there like, but at the end of the day, you were dead wrong for even talking to him. And I'm like, she played a prank on me. She played a prank on me. <laughs> So childish. I was like, this man has us in a whole chokehold. You mad at me about him and I don't even talk to him anymore. And she was just like, I'm mad at you because other reasons. My sister dead ass was just sitting there like letting us talk it out, I guess, or about to fight it out, whichever one. My sister was just down. I don't know how we ended up actually having a conversation without fucking yelling and just arguing and shit. But we ended up just like talking. Literally by the end of the discussion, we had came to the terms that like we beefed over him for no reason because he played both of us and included another girl, which if you watch my uh, got jump story time that same girl I ended up fighting her because of him too Well, this is how the drama with her started because of this boy and then my friend was like right like literally nobody wants to fight over him And then we was like let's just make an agreement that none of us will ever talk to him again And if we don't ever talk to him again We don't have to deal with drama and we don't even have to deal with her because she can have him like at this point It's three bitches in the equation and he's chilling. He's not dealing with none of this drama We're all dealing with the drama because of him But he's literally minding his business chilling like nothing ever happened So no, let's all just make an agreement to not date him and leave the other girl who we didn't like to him we was like okay we left that park friends and i'm telling y'all after all the shit that happened over this man like bitch i'm telling y'all full on battling arguing wanting to fight each other like bruh i don't know how we left that park friends because i swear i thought i was about to just go there and fight her i went back home put on real clothes you know what i'm saying and then we just hung out and that's literally what happened like literally we're still friends to this day we never argued about him ever again after that day all i remember is um she well you started talking to him again in seventh grade and i was like by then i was like over him like yes i was still like having conversations with him but not like talking to him or anything um we were still friends me and Kay, we're still friends to this day i wonder how he's doing because i just it was his birthday actually like a couple days ago when they started dating again in eighth grade i think it was or seventh grade or whatever the fuck um i'm under my business bitch i was like that don't got shit to do with me that don't got shit to do with me i was like good fucking luck because bitch uh-uh but they ended up breaking up and now she's in a happy relationship and she's literally goals with her boyfriend like period as she should i was a cassie i became a cassie because of a fucking prank like literally 
I became a Cassie because of a prank. Yeah, that was the story about how I became a Cassie and I was stupid and I was naive and I was dumb and I did not care. Like I literally was like, I love this man. I love this man. Like I'm going to be with this man. I'm going to finish all of this off of camera and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the details and what everything looks like. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay y'all, so this is the final product. This is what my hair looks like. This is what it looks like and this is what it's giving. I was struggling with this wig because the way it was, it's a, a lace front. It's not a lace frontal. So it's like just a U and then the sides. So make sure you're very mindful of that before you purchase. This is what it turned out like. This is what it looks like up close. Not the best, not the most seamless, but it definitely is hidden. I got my lashes done too. So I just got back. I had to literally go get my lashes done and then come back home because I literally couldn't do both and be on time to my appointment. And y'all know how that went. She was very nice. I usually don't get thick lashes because I don't have big eyeballs. So I kind of look stupid, but I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, girl, they look fine. Just like them. It ain't that deep. That's the end of my story time. <laughs> I know the story time was very like childish and shit, but I really just want to tell y'all because it really is just funny. Um, again, you know what I'm saying? Don't be a Cassie. Don't be a Cassie to your bestie Maddie. Don't do that shit. Doing me doing that was not cute. It was nothing cute about it. Won't never be cute. You know what I'm saying? But I don't regret it because again, like I literally was young as shit. Like who the fuck cares so yeah i'm just going to leave i'm gonna thank our sponsors again for today's video thank you one more here for sponsoring today's video everything is linked in the description if you want to buy it this was a 32 inch wig again everything in the description y'all be getting that tell ricky so if you want to submit your tell ricky's unless i record it before then bitch then you'll be in the next one next one but i'll see you guys in the next one i love y'all so much stay positive stay peaceful and if a bitch try to run up run back up yeah you know what I mean?